All right, here we have Bitbucket. We're going to look at a little bit about what it is and how it really works and why someone would want to use it. So here we have the home page or the dashboard. See the, all the applications that are in development or stored here. And you can see the name. We see when it last updated. See the recent activity uh, uh, for all the applications. And if we look at one of them, say the toy app, we would end up on this page. This is the overview page. It gives you a little last update and in, in, in information. Uh, what recently happened to it, and here we can see how many different ways it's gone off. So, besides the master branch, which is the first branch, we can look at how many different branches on, usually every, each branch is one type of modification to the program itself. Um, if we went into uh, down, down one block, actually, I went a little too far there. If we went a little down one block down to the sources, you can look at all the source code that is uh, involved in the whole program. If there were different branches, you could change it. And there aren't, obviously. And if I wanted to, I can look. This is for a Ruby, um, Ruby on Rails program, by the way. This is when I was test playing around with Ruby on Rails. So I can look at all the stuff. For instance, gem file, if I wanted to, I click it and automatically download it. And if I wanted to, I can download the whole entire project and I could start running it. I can make altercation, alterations to it. And eventually, if it was a public version, or since it's my private version, I could then upload it back and change the master. I wouldn't even have to upload it. I could just do a simple git push command, and it would upload it straight to Bitbucket, and nothing else to worry about. Bitbucket would then hold the most current and up-to-date source code for this program. Here we can look at commits. Who's, who's by? The most recent one up top. And you can see, add a little message when you do when you do commit. Uh, you can add a little message on exactly what was changed. So here you can say we started the project. Basically, you got everything skeletal structure laid out. Here we added the hello world, and here we just finished it. If we look at the branches set up, um, there are no branches with this one. Where if a larger project would require branches, because as you create more uh, code. Kind of want to, nah. I want mean, you. Kind of want to go off in other directions. And when you create one section of code, you don't you don't want to stay in the master branch. You want to go off on this branch. And if you that if that branch doesn't work out, you can always revert back to master. But if it does work out, you can always merge it. And if you merge it, then it'll update the master. And you'll have a new main one that you can go on. I mean, you want to add something else to it. Add another. Uh, function or something to the code, then you go into another branch. So here we have the pull requests. Uh, this is where the public aspect of it comes into play. And if people wanted to publicly download, they can they can download the program and if it, the master file gets updated, it'll the Bitbucket will update their files and there'll be a new master there and that user that downloaded the old file can then pull the newer files down and they can end up having the most up-to-date program that's available to the public or, or even a private user. They can p do a pull request. And you see the downloads page. This is where if I want to provide stuff to the public, I just upload the whole uh, file or whatever files I want to share with the public and they can, they can download whatever they choose to download out of that. So that's a little kind of overview of Bitbucket. I've been using it for only the summer, actually. So I know it's publicly loose quite a bit. Developers, on the other hand, I'm sure are using it all the time. I uh, I would say if they're not using it, they definitely should be using it because it is an easy way of keeping your code organized, I would say. Um, with the, print, the branch system and being able to push it up using like one or two lines of code, it's very simple. Very easy to use. Any developer you're developing any program. So if let's say you're developing Facebook again, or if you have Facebook code and you're trying to add on a new feature, you didn't quite get that feature to work out and now everything doesn't work, you would pull down that new master branch 
or the, the, the master branch that was on Bitbucket, pull it back, erase the code you had before, and now you're back to where our working state is. So that's just one example. I'm sure every developer uses some sort of backup system like Bitbucket and definitely would be using it in the future. Thanks for watching. That's it.